Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Little Bits. Today we're doing something a little bit different. It'll be my first Let's Play. We're not going to do a calculator game, unfortunately. I just cannot figure out how to film those screens. I have the projector-based uh, screens, but um, I don't know. I think I need a proper light box to use it effectively with a camera. And I might need a more advanced camera to that can change frame rates and stuff. Um, but we will be doing a Let's Play on Linux. I'm going to play... The games that I play on Linux, I'll show you how I set them up. This one's easy. It's just the Linux Steam version with um, uh, Proton. So, you know, a lot of my Windows games just run right out of box in that configuration. I do have to set which version. I'm just using the late, latest version of uh, the general release Proton, not the one right before Experimental. I think it's 7.5 right now or 7.6. But... Uh, yeah, that works. You can see my um, system stats over here. I got a pretty beefy system. Uh, one thing to note is that this 3700X is really a beefcake when it comes to churning through code and compiling stuff and anything that can be uh, multi-threaded, but it has a bit of a single-thread bottleneck. So games can be a little bit of a problem on this PC, whether you're in Linux or... Um, Windows. Uh, the main game that I've seen have trouble is Remedies Control. That game is one of my favorites, but it it's resource intensive and it can it can sometimes lag and chug when uh, there's a lot going on on screen on this system. But uh, yeah, there are there are much less expensive, lower core count, lower thread count Ryzen's out there that have higher uh, single threaded performance, and I think any any uh, Intel in this price range from this generation would also have a better single threaded performance, but that won't affect our play of Skyrim. We, we should see pretty good performance on Skyrim at ultra settings on Linux, no matter what. I am going to warn y'all right up front that, uh, I have Tourette syndrome, and I might make some weird throat noises, sniffing. I sniff a lot, snorting, grunting. That might come through. I'll try to edit it out. I am recording my um, audio track separately, so I should be able to mute it. But sometimes it's going to happen in quick succession when I'm talking, so I won't be able to get all of it out there. So if, if you can't handle that kind of thing. Uh, just a trigger warning now I'm gonna be I'm gonna be ticking I'm gonna be doing verbal ticks throughout uh, the stream I can't help it but or the recording the let's play so now let's uh, see what we want to do first of all I do have some mods installed I have the uh, unofficial Elder Scrolls patch installed for example um, I did that manually because I forgot you could get it from this mod store here uh, but I do have uh, mods installed. If you install stuff manually, you still have to come in here and, and enable them. I had to enable these three because they were manual installs. So we have Caliente's Better Bodies, Beautiful Bodies Enhancer, and the Vanilla Armor to uh, go with that. Um, it's non-nude. There's, there's not going to be any nudity in this, but uh, I do like the CBBE extension. A lot of these are just um, like immersion improvements um, there's like cities added it, it just makes the landscape seem a little more populated uh, so they're mostly pretty lore friendly clockwork and forgotten city are kind of story expansions uh, that I've played before they're great uh, as my understanding the the forgotten city came on to be a full-fledged game later on um, and so I kind of wanted to replay this and then go visit the game that came of it uh some things to just make make it a little easier i am going to play on um survival mode so there's there's some places where I, I just added map markers that are otherwise missing things like that i actually don't think i like this holidays one i'm going to delete that right now i don't even want it um yeah 
Uh, so I'm just showing you this list. I'm, I'm, if I feel like it, I'll, I'll write down the full mod list of what I'm running. Um, that True Storms one is awesome. It really adds a lot of layers of immersion. To just running around the town and stuff. All right, yeah, that load over changed because I deleted one. So now we're gonna start a new game. I have been playing a few characters. I tried to, I tried to make a Khajiit voice in it. It just kind of sounded uh, unacceptably racist, so I, I stopped doing it. Um, I got it okay near the end, but I, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm not very good at voices. They always go breaking down into something offensive. So I try not to do voices very much. We do have the alternate start uh, mod loaded. You can see here we're not starting on the vanilla start. I do have the extended vanilla start. So if we choose to do that one, you know, um, We'll see a little more dialogue. We have the cutting room floor mod, so there's some restored content and some restored quests and missions and stuff. Um, now, I usually play a lady because uh, I like looking at ladies. It's not a good reason to play a lady, but that is the reason I play a lady. Uh, but the, the point is, um, I, I want to do the voice, and I'm not going to be able to do a lady's voice uh, very well, and I don't want to offend anybody. So we're going to go ahead and play a guy today. And it's been a while since I've done like a tanky build that can really take a lot of hits and output a lot of damage at the same time. So we're going to do a Nord for this one today um, and go heavy armor, two-handed weapon. I like this guy here. His beard reminds me of mine. Um, I don't usually customize these guys too much. The, as the faces start to warp, they stop looking like faces and just start looking like uncanny valley like monstrosities to me. So I can't, I can't really start, I can't tinker with these faces too much and still see a living being at the end of it. I do like to change the hair usually. I have some new hair that came with uh, CBBE. That's a fancy lad. I like that one. Now I have a red beard and brown hair. This is kind of close to what I got. The beard looks redder in the sunlight than the hair does. But this is this is brown. But uh of course, this guy doesn't look anything like me, so let's go with this strawberry blonde. And now I, I this is the hardest part for me. Um, I usually, uh, I usually have a list of names that I use, and I've ch I chose them from the unofficial Elder Scrolls pages and uh, from NPCs walking around in various earlier games. I always pick names from games other than the one I'm in so that I don't accidentally name myself the same as an NPC. It's stupid, but they're all ladies' names, so I, I, I don't know what to do with this guy. So I'm just going to name him David because my name is David. And to make him more naughty, we're going to call him Axe Wielder. He wields axes. He's an axe guy. Looking good, bruh. All right. Approach, my child and choose where your new life shall begin. So my thinking is David Axe Wielder was uh, born and raised here in Skyrim, so it would make Which sense if he do you own? owns some property at his age. Uh, I think we want to do... You know, this is kind of a big advantage having property, property right away, uh, but it, it only makes so much of a difference, and it, it really uh, adds to the role play verisimilitude. Um, now, to give myself a little bit of a more of a challenge, I think we'll do one of these one of these ones that doesn't have a fast travel station here because I am going to be playing on survival mode and you cannot fast travel on survival mode except to use 
wagons and boats. Um, now I'll probably be cutting out a lot of my running around except for when something important happens because there is going to be a lot of footage of just me running around uh, going places but uh, try to get a horse as soon as possible and fix that up. All right, let's do Lakeview Manor. Simple life can be its own reward. In fall grief. All right, so now I gotta go sleep in this bed and the game will begin. Simple Nord and a simple home and a simple town. Uh, I guess I uh, probably probably work digging graves like most other people in Falkreath, right? Like, not much of an adventurer yet. Explains my level one, my pure level oneness. Um, you know, I just kind of I can dig holes and I can bury bodies, and I can mine, and I can fish. What was that? That was almost certainly caused by some kind of mod problem. So there we go, already mods are uh, breaking the immersion. Hopefully that won't happen again, but I suspect that it will. Now since we are going to be playing on survival mode, food's going to be important. Uh, we really want to stockpile... Um, we really want to stockpile cooked food um, and salt. As much salt as we can get. Uh, we don't want to use it for potions usually. I still do use it when, I want, when I'm trying to discover um, ingredient effects, but I try to do that sparingly. Salt is super... Uh, valuable in survival mode even in the um, base game like pre-anniversary edition pre creation club pre built in mods uh, outside of you know PC um, food could be pretty overpowered in this if, in this game if you if you really treated it right you could you could end up with a pretty competitive advantage when you just cooked enough food stockpiling the salt. Of course, I like to read the books, see if they give me... I don't I mean, of course, I'm not reading the book. I like to open the books and see if they give me any points. All right, let's step outside. Ah, another day in boring fall grief. I got the itch for adventure. Yes, survival mode, absolutely. Thank you. Got a cow... You know, if I owned this home in real life, I would be a happy man instead of renting for 2000 a month just to barely get by. Anyway, I'll stop complaining about the state of the world. Oh, hey, there's a wagon here. Well, I wasn't expecting to, to find a wagon here. Uh, I guess one of the mods adds one. Wow, you can go anywhere. <laughs> so much for... Um, this is right in front of my home. Oh, I see what's going on. This is one of the actual homesteads that you would have had to build normally. So I actually gave myself less of a, a handicap and more of a gigantic advantage. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and use that because this is where we live. This is how... Uh, It said we were in Falkreath. We're not even in Falkreath. We're just near Falkreath. Born and raised in Falkreath. My parents got this. And I inherited it. Yeah. Backstory solidified. I have a horse already? Jesus. I mean, Tal Lopes. Come on with that. Alright. Well, I'm not an unhappy man. That's for sure. So this guy's got the itch for adventure. What does he want to do? He's been farming for a while. I like farming, but, you know, he's bored of it. Old David Axe Wielder here. He doesn't even have an axe yet. He must have chopped a lot of wood to earn that name. You would think it was a soldier's name. Or maybe just his dad's. It's just his dad's name. 
His his mom was uh, a uh, axe wife, and his dad was uh, Jonathan Axe spouse. And they made uh, they made old David Axe wielder in a fit of passion. Buy lumber for building your house. It's built. It's already built. Let's just go to white on everybody. I have a uh, business in White Run. I need to go buy an axe. And there well, should be back. one in the we'll shops there. You ever been to White Run before? The Jarl's Palace is something to see. Dragon search, they call it. Big old dragon skull hanging on the wall. Cool. Sounds like a sight to see. Oh, I'm a fatigued. Jester, funny suit and all, just north by the Laurius farm. Fool had a coffin in a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> hey, uh, watch my horse for me, fellas. It's good to be in town again. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have been out on the homestead, the out by my lonesome. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. I'm sure it's welcome to Bellathor's general goods. Welcome indeed. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Oh, I don't like that kind of talk, man. That sounds like slaver talk to me. Uh, let's see. What do we got to sell him? I don't need that. I don't want that. Uh, you can have that. Alright. Uh, do you have an axe? You have an iron battle axe that I can afford. Alright. Alright. David Axe Wielder has earned his title. <laughs> Not so much. He just bought one. See if he can even hold the darn thing. Did you see that sucker? It's big. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I probably will want a backpack. Let's go ahead and get a backpack. Uh, stamina by 20 points. Yeah, that's going to be good for me. Uh, he's got some things. He's got no ingredients. I would like some armor. Iron, iron. Oh, can't afford that. Iron. Well, we got a couple pieces back. of armor. That'll help us out a little bit. All right. Well, his beard is hidden, so uh, I'm glad I didn't spend too much time on his face. You know. Foolish old fool. You Ooh. know nothing. Nothing I don't want of any our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. Why how? Once I've made enough money <laughs> trading with I got shy and I said howdy instead of howdy or hello. Before my ma and dad passed, I told them that one day I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. Yeah, sounds hard. You do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Oh, I'm gonna source my ivory from. Farewell. Not. Directly a mammoth. Thank you. No, no. He's dead. I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that. He who is most man. This dude speaks sense. Trust in Heimskirk. 
For I am the chosen of Talos. Oh. I alone have been anointed by the night to spread his holy word. You have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. Sure. Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Really? Talos mastered the power of a voice, and with it he united the lands of men into a great empire. In Impressive. southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So well, what is he like to be called? his reign in life. When he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. Oh, you're just gonna send me to the library then. I thought you alone were the chosen to spread his word. Terrible yeah. and powerful Talos. You could tell me a, you could tell me more, couldn't you? I guess he's not as much of an expert as he You're a turkey. You sir. You're a turkey. I need to go worship Kine real quick. I mean Kinnereth. Tomato tomato. Yes, you do have to uh, spend on uh, shrines to get the blessing and cure in survival mode. If you have a home where you build a shrine, that's free to use. But you know you have to build it. Kidding. Just came to see the dragon skull, everybody. I wish I could draw it, sketch that out, show my friends. <laughs> He's crying a little bit because he doesn't have any friends. He just works alone. We should visit this place for sure. Is those two at it again? Oh snap, a fight. Go wear them out. Nice. Oh snap. Oh snap. Is this what you want? Huh? What? Get in there and push. Dude, they're doing pretty good. Ooh, ooh. No. Come on. Ooh. Get him. Get him. Dare fight a Dunmer. Woo! Woo! You think Woo. you stand a chance? David likes fights. Though he is keenly aware that these two would both kick his ass. That was cool. You guys are cool. What now? Toxic masculinity is my thing as a Nord. Who do you think you are? Male. If you want to embarrass Born yourself, I won't stop you. Codlack is the harbinger. He's the closest thing you'll find to a leader around here. Cool, 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 cool. Now, cool, cool. if you'll excuse me. I haven't seen you before, have I? Ooh, you sound drunk right I'm now. Sorry 
I'm getting hungry. Should visit the inn. One more song. What say you? Yeah? <laughs> I have no oh, gold. Right then. No. If it's work you need, how about Once chopping up some wood for the fires? Oh, uh, okay. I do have uh, no axe for that. There are rumors of suspicious activity around hell. That sounds like a place worth adventuring to. Need we'll anything else? That Just let me know. See what we can earn along the way. As a farmer, of course, I'm keenly aware of the value of ingredients for potions. Spare a coin for a poor beggar. I don't have one, sorry. <laughs> I would. Seriously, I would. The blessing you get is legit. If you got that blessing in real life, there would be no beggars. Because every beggar would be fed. It's a sad statement to say, but it's true. Wee! Wee! Oh man! If you do that on the VR version, it's much scarier. It's significantly scarier. Of course, it's not scary at all in this version. On our way to Helgen to check out these rumors of suspicious activity. Gonna sing a little song while we run because. I can't fast travel at all. Not that it matters, cause I haven't discovered the place yet. Ooh, I'm gonna entertain myself by singing while I run. This is how I do it in real life too, yeah. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. Do I have any food? Hmm. Looks like uh, old David Axewielder is a bit of a drinker. Got two bottles of wine on him. Howdy. Did Nord say howdy? Just Texans. Snatch that bee right out of the air. Boom, boom. Karate Kid style. Give me my chopsticks. I've, I've never even watched Karate Kid all the way through. <laughs> I just know that scene a little bit. I don't, I don't even know the scene. I vaguely remember the scene. I don't like movies. I like some movies. I gotta be in the mood for a movie. It's a this rare movie. Whoa, whoa. Fellas, this is why you have such a bad reputation around here. Ooh, this is a trek, man. I'm gonna buy a horse the moment I can get a horse. Actually, I think horses in this, I haven't proven it or anything, but I think horses in this game do, um, do prevent your uh, hunger and sleepiness from rising faster like it slows if you're riding a horse you don't get hungry as fast or sleepy as fast it seems but I might be wrong I might just be imagining that whoa don't do it don't do it one of the immersion mods I have is uh, more realistic wildlife behavior you'll see stuff like one or two wolves will be reluctant to attack you though they might try to chase you out of their territory a little bit um, but a pack of wolves will try to hunt you down and uh, there's like an alpha wolf hey what are you attacking me okay so much for realistic animal behavior although <laughs> my friend was once attacked by a deer on a walk and he had to hit it with his skateboard to get it to leave him alone so maybe maybe that was <laughs> intentional 
All right, Helgen to Helgen, right? Yep. I don't know whose fish those are, but uh, they're mine now. I heard Luke and Young the other day about a thief ring. Was it? You offered that up impromptu of nothing. Impromptu? That's not the word I was trying to use. Apropos. <laughs> Unprompted. I guess I didn't kill those wolves, so... Well, I had elk hide from the farm. Let's do a little light labor on my trek. To Helgen. Ooh, this is fun. So I recently was playing without any mods on the Anniversary Edition, and I have another character, Chalice, uh, named after one of my favorite smoking implements. It's like chalice. <laughs> I'm so clever and funny and smart. Anyway. Ooh, half a wolf! You go in town! Axe to the face! Your pelts are forfeit. To make my leather. Favorite that to the right. Favorite that to the left. I press left and I press right and get my axe back out. Ooh, a mine to explore nearby, according to the map. We can stop off there on our way to Helgen. I'm sure there'll be ore to mine. I have no pickaxe, but mines usually have pickaxes, right? Trail right up to it. You a I have no quarrel with you. I'm just here to mine. I'm not lost. I used my map to find this place. Girl. Are you prepared to die? Are you? Alright. Self-defense. All your things are mine now. Oh, it's my encumbrance right now. Let's let's wait a little bit to do that. I'll need some lumber for some crafting later. Money. Gentlemen, this is a well-known mine. It's right on the map. Are you the proprietors of this mine? Okay! You know, it didn't have to go down like that. It really did not. Just stand idly by while you try to literally murder me. You know what I mean? Like, what? What are you thinking? Yes, indeed. You can manually mine. And that is worth doing if you're in a, uh, if you're in combat but sneaking, and you're hidden enough but you're still in combat, so it won't let you mine. If you're sneaking and you have and you equip your pickaxe as a weapon, 
hit this thing nine times, it'll give you all the ore. Uh, sometimes it's faster to do it manually while standing. Sneaking is always slower doing it sneaking, but it can be faster to do it manually. Just hit it nine times, but it's also more tedious. Uh, I like to uh, let the animation run while I smoke. <laughs> and today I'm smoking uh, Gawith, Ho Gawith Hogarth and Company's uh, Whiskey Twist Tobacco Rope. It is very delicious, and yes, I do recommend trying it out of a bubbler. Though it's best from a pipe. Like a traditional briar pipe or a meerschaum pipe. Grandpa's pipes, you know? Well, this poor fella... They've had me working down here for days now. It's not the time that's getting to me, though. It's these tunnels. I've told them countless times now to add extra supports to the weak sections of the tunnels. If only we had more of those wooden beams that were reinforced with bronze bottoms. Honestly, if I hear the earth shift one more time above my head, I'll be so stressed I may stop drinking for good. I mean, what's a Nord without his mead? Here's one to you, brother or sister. Lord me, pour one out. May you rest well in Sovngarde. Get a little visibility going here. I could use some potatoes. Look like good seed potatoes for the farm. If you're wondering about my accent, it's <laughs> it's genuine, but it gets it kind of thickens and thins throughout the day. There's someone there. Yeah, there is. That was brutal, guys. Gentlemen. Or should I say, not so gentlemen. <laughs> I'm so funny and clever and smart. Money, money. You picked a bad time to get lost. I am not oh. lost. You guys are just occupying a mine that you have no right to be occupying. Take that, thank you. All right, we see a little better. Find all the ore in this area. Is that it, just the one? There we go, I'm ticking. I don't always notice myself doing it, but I caught myself. <clears throat> Remember, food is a valuable. You don't always want to pick it up. You do always want to pick up salt, and there is often salt in these barrels and these sacks. See, four of them right there. Four is a good amount to get. Salt is rare. I mean, it's not rare. Every merchant and every food, not every, most food sellers sell it, but um, just in small quantities. It's my encumbrance. I'm getting, getting topped up a little bit. Close to topped. I 
I already know these guys are gonna be hostile too. You know, your friends did not have to die. And neither do you. You're gonna. was a good choice. Up your butt. Have you tried checking up your butt? Really? No. You stand still. How about that? I wonder what he was going to say. It would be so much easier to run away. Well, it's always good to have a bow on hand. Oh, over encumbered. Let's drop some of this apparel that we were going to sell because it's kind of the heaviest stuff. Apparently that hurt me. Dropped it on my big toe and it sprayed blood all over my face. I guess I'm a drinker, so... Uh in real life, I'm not a drinker. I, I uh, love alcohol to a life-ruining extent, so I cannot partake in it anymore. Uh, so I usually don't let my fictional characters drink just to kind of... <laughs> Solidarity! But uh, now this guy clearly likes the booze. He loves the mead. What's the Nord without his mead, right? Empty. Empty. Stop searching the empty sack. It already says empty. find any more remaining ore veins in this mine, because that's what we came here to do. Some good, honest labor, you know. Five. Five is usually the max you see. I don't think I've ever seen more than five piles of salt in one go. Maybe, maybe six. But I really can't remember. I just see... I see four and I see five and I get excited. So you see when he gets sleepy, his magicka goes down and regenerates more slowly. When he gets hungry, his endurance goes down and regenerates more slowly. When he gets cold, his health goes down. And you can freeze to death, you can starve to death. I'm pretty sure you can die if you let that sleep bar get to zero. Uh, but I haven't I haven't seen that happen that I'm that I remember. Oh yeah, I'm still looking for I'm still looking for ore veins. I swear there were more back here, though. I feel like one in that hallway and one down here is too few for this side of the mine. Maybe th there's some over here. Oh, jeez! Oh, I ran right backwards into it. I knew that was there. I still fell for it. I thought it was further ahead. Nothing. Alright, I guess we got all the ore on this side. see any over there either. Clearing out a mine of bandits and stealing their stuff and taking all the ore for my own purposes. I'm gonna make myself rich with all the stuff that I steal from these bitches. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's not appropriate language. I shouldn't be talking like that. I take skill books. I take and sell skill books. Or I have a bookshelf. I'll put them on my bookshelf. Um, drop some of it more of this valueless armor. Am 
I mean, it's not valueless. Require key. Okay. Maybe that's from a mod. There it is. down here if I had a fishing rod I could fish in this pool of water although I've tried it and that is part of the uh, anniversary edition so it's not a, a mod that I installed it's just, it just comes with the game now once you buy the anniversary edition and uh, which I do highly recommend it it really improves the game tremendously um, where, where am I looking for? We already went back here, took all that stuff. We found all the ore over there. We found all the ore down there, I think. There's one more, there's at least one more piece of ore in this. But what kind of mine has four pieces of ore? Here's one. I guess old uh, David Axewielder here uh, spent some time with the locksmithing skill, you know. Seemed to know his way around that lock. Of course, it was a novice lock, but man, he, he blew through it. Some things we don't know about our boy here. What's he been getting up to on that farm? living by himself. Probably just taking mushrooms. If he's anything like me, he's just eating mushrooms. I guess that's it. Super expected more ore veins in a mine like this. Oh well. We've got some wares to sell. And I got my bloodlust out on that crew of rude people. So, you know, win-win. Probably make it to Helgen and back to Riverwood before I pass out. Still got some energy over here. Dead Riverwood, Helgen, Helgen. Maybe it's some more bandits like at the mine, you know. Probably no big deal. 
Elgin's a hopping city. It should be hopping little town. It should be uh should be fine, right? It's fine. It's fine. Just a minor inconvenience to come deal with over here. I'll go get a bounty or whatever. It'll be hunky dory. It'd be nice to visit Helgen. What the Talos? Why I do believe that that is a dragon. turned out to be a dragon. First entry. Hard to believe I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much of Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost here forever. The expedition is in ending soon and everyone will be returning home. I have one last task to perform before I do the same. I'll send the other journal ahead with my supplies and the artifacts we recovered. Second entry. I've received word from my contacts in Skyrim. All seems quiet for now, probably for the first time since High King Torrig was killed. I should be able to make the crossing quietly enough during the night, so long as there are no Imperial patrols to deal with. Third entry. So much for being discreet. I crossed the border near a small village called Helgen and made my way up to Darkwater Crossing. Unfortunately, I can't get back to my camp now because the area is filled with Imperial patrols. It seems they are searching for someone, someone very important. If I'm mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, someone they intend to ambush here. This could be the very thing I am seeking here in Skyrim, but crossing the border in the dead of night without passing through the checkpoints has turned out to be a very bad plan. Yeah, no shit. Just, just, okay. Fourth entry. <laughs> I woke early this morning with an Imperial sword pressed to my neck. A patrol found me camped under a rock outcropping on the edge of the volcanic marshes. I guess I wasn't well hidden as I thought. I have no idea where they're taking us, but I've been stuffed into the back of a rickety old cart being pulled by an even more rickety old looking nag. Rude. They're letting you write? They let you keep your pen and paper. At least they let me keep my journal. <laughs> For now. Oh my gosh. Fifth entry. Shores bones if only I had known sooner. The ambush. The captives in the cart with me, Stormcloak rebels led by none other than Stormcloak himself, Ulfric Stormcloak himself. There's no time to explain properly, I scarcely believe it myself. Stop writing! If it hadn't been for the dragon, I'd not even be here to write this down. Yes, a dragon, big black, as large as the towers of the keep itself. It swooped in out of nowhere and laid waste to the village and the keep. General Tullius didn't take my head today, or the heads of several Stormcloak rebels, but that doesn't matter now. You know, Hadvar and Raeloff set aside their differences to help the survivors. They went into the lower keeps hours ago. Something about caves with a back entrance. I don't think they're coming back. I'll have to see if I can get out of the city and down to Riverwood. Someone needs to warn them. This building won't remain standing for much longer. I still can't believe it. A dragon, straight out of the legends. Nobody back home will ever believe me. Seriously, dude. Like, you got burnt to a crisp because you were so busy jotting that down how did your journal survive you were dust you literally fell to dust i guess we'll check out this cave that the journal mentions see what's going on with that
So if you've never tried alternate start before, live another life, whatever it's called, um, and you always wondered how, or you've been reluctant to try it because you weren't sure how it would handle the main quest, this is how it does it. This is me starting the main quest. Are you mad? You need to warn Riverwood. Quit messing around and get down there. So oblivion with it. You're here and I need help. I need a healing potion before I can go. I do not have one, sir. Once I'm back on my feet. All right, okay. Uh, well, this is a big place and maybe there's one around here. Perfectly good bottle of me. Booze. Be careful. Hey, I'm trying to help you. Don't tell me what to do. Well, that doesn't look promising. Skeletons. Hmm. More to explore back this way. Oh. I'm usually very pro spider, but you know, not today. When tripping over bones hurts you badly. And it makes sense, you know, maybe I stub my toe. There's no way that there's not a health potion somewhere around here. I want to have to go back and mix one. Here we go. Or buy one. I guess that guy didn't get to use it in time. Or gal. You know, I can't tell from skeletons. Oh, there's more. Woo! See, now David Axewielder just living up to his name. I just ran my blade over the, the fangs of that thing for a moment to coat it. Yo, bro, I'm not just going to let, let you guys die. Oh, hey. He, oh, dang. Well, now I gotta find a two healing potions. Here, you take this one. Hey, bro, I helped your friend first, but uh, I'll get, I'll get you, I'll get you. Where are you? Where'd you go? Is he gone? I thought he was right here. Okay. I guess he escaped on his own. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Why do I need to split up, bro? Look, no, no, I'm coming with you. Without life. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. Ah, uh, yeah, the Imperials suck. Some Imperials pulled their swords Gerder on me when I was walking the up mill here. In Riverwood, just up the road. Yeah, you said I'm sure that. She'd help you out. That's cool. It's probably best if we split you up. said that too, but I already told you I'm coming with you. I wouldn't have made it without your help today.
I'm not splitting up, bro. Did you see what happened to the other guy? Because I was going to bring him a potion, too. You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's all Honestly, all I saw was a dragon. I don't know what you're talking about, the true face of anything. They are jerks, though. I will. I'll give you that. They're jerks. They're jerky turkeys. They're made of turkey jerky. No, you didn't like that one? See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. Was it like a crypt I or something? I guess you get used to it. Never been this close to it before. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. I know what they are. Warrior, good. Those stars will guide you to honor and glory. You know I was uh, born and raised in Falkreath, right? Hmm? I know about the Guardian Stones, bro. Remember, this isn't Stormcloak territory. If we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. As long as we don't do anything stupid. Alright, cool. If we run into any Imperials, just let me do the talking, alright? Will do. This is, let's just clean, this is my mess. Can't just leave those right on the road like that, you know. That's rude. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Good. You were really parping on us splitting up, so I'm glad to hear that. Money. Yes, I am referencing Cardi B when I do that. Hashtag deal with it. She is not a good role model. <laughs> but looks like nobody here knows what her ghostwriter's music slaps. Gurdon's probably working in her lumber mill. Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. You can't own a person. You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best I do man. thrive on drama. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood Trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Why does he have to sneak? Look, let me tell you something. All right, then. If you guys play your cards right... Hey, listen to me. You should come hear me play. If you guys play your cards right, you can give her the Eiffel Tower that she truly desires. All right? Go be friends. Until next time. Raylo. What are you doing here? Huh. Sorry, I got distracted. That guy was down. way oversharing. Uncle Rayla, can I see your axe? How many Imperials have you killed? Do you really know Ulfric Stormcloak? Ah, oh, children. Hush, Frodnar. This is no time for your games. Sorry. Go and watch the South Road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. 
Look at you. Almost a grown man. It won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. Yeah, child That's soldier right. army, Don't huh? Don't worry, Uncle Raylo. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. No. War never Raylo. changes, right? What's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I can't remember when I last slept. Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Ulfric was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards! They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, it's another good time to smoke. Nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real live? I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, if you're giving stuff away. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. Ah, the Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Valgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your day. Yeah, I, I got business in Whiterun anyway. anyway. I knew we could count on you. Uh, I ought to get back to work those. before I missed. But those are for y'all. Did anyone else escape? It will be. Oh, God, sleepy. Orgnar. Orgnar, are you listening? Hard not to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Y'all let people sleep on the floor Did out you here? hear me? Yep. What do you the want? Bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. Come on in. Let me Got any ale or mead? Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Until next time. No, 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 I have to talk to you. You're that visitor. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks, girl. I think six hours is enough to get you well rested. Maybe even four. I think there's only... Uh, I think there's 30 hours in a day, that's actually, or maybe there's less than 24. No, there's specifically 24, you can see it when you rest. Never mind. I think it's 30 days in a month, every month. Uh, stamina is gonna be best for our, for our build. We want two-handed weapons and we want heavy armor. Let's do heavy armor first. He seems to be doing some decent damage to low-level enemies. Ooh, got hungry. Woke up hungry. I feel that. I'll have a mead for breakfast because I'm a hearty Nord type. Apples are good. A whole friggin' hunk of cheese. Oh, no, no, it didn't even... Do you need to dent my hunger? Come here. Oh, whoops. You're kind of fuzzy. Got any ale or mead? Oh, no, I need to stop over serving this guy. I'm trying to talk to you. 
You sell yeah, me you stuff. Got rooms and food. As long as you clean up, you know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what happens. Cool, 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 a little cool, cool. wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Cool. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Sold. You have to eat kind of a lot, and it the hunger meters are a little bit unbalanced. You can see cooked beef fills you up 380 points of hunger, but like bread does too. That's ridiculous. Bread should be more, if anything, especially a whole loaf of bread, 18 points. That's barely anything. If I ate a whole loaf of bread, hmm? I would be full. You know, you know what I mean. And I'm a fat eat dude. Something. Mm -hmm. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Ooh. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. I don't know what. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break in. But we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing an ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Well, there's a little kid out there that pretty we unpromptedly could. and suspiciously coming in from my last declared shipment. he wasn't the it's thief. It's yours so, if you uh, bring my claw back. Check on that kid. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of oh, town. Oh, cool. What you... So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. No, I... Uh, I, no, I could see it from here. By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. It's fine, dude. The sooner you find... Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Till next time. Off to Bleak Falls Barrow it is. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here though. The mountain just over the buildings. It flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Those thieves must be mad if you keep hiding on out like there. This, everyone in town Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. I already told that guy there was a dragon. Sorry, girl, I was not listening to you. Girl. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I oh, guess nice. I should get back to my brother. He'll that was your brother? Too long. <laughs> Such a child. Your brother's that controlling over you? Oh. Girl, that's not normal. Running on up to Bleak Falls Barrow, I've never been before, but it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna check it out and see what's going on, and maybe I'll make some money. 
Probably should have sold more stuff. My encumbrance. Oh, that's not too terrible. Rain, my favorite. Howdy. How are you doing today? You picked a bad what? To get lost. No, what? Dude. All right. I mean, that didn't have to go down that way. I don't understand what's going on. Everybody I meet is like so ready to die. Wow, it has been a while since I used a two-handed weapon and that is fun. That is very fun. I am glad I went two-handed melee. Oh, nice steel axe. I think... Uh, Something David Axe Wielder would appreciate. They must have been guarding something valuable if they were so ready to kill. Cabbages. Apples. Empty. Guys, what were you what were you so ready to kill over? Oh okay, there's a chest. All right. Definitely should have sold more stuff. What do I have that's heavy? Probably just my armor, right? Oh, I have a fishing rod. Uh, we're going to drop that. We're going to drop that. We're definitely going to drop those. We're dropping those. Y'all can have that. I... I'll probably never fish. I'm out of character right now. <laughs> I slip in and out of character with the same voice with no notice, so apologies if that's uh, frustrating for you. I need a pickaxe. I don't need a mace. I don't need two swords. I need a woodcutter's axe. All right. I was just grabbing everybody's weapons and armor for a little bit, and uh, I usually don't do that. Oh, hey, what's that? Don't mind if I do. Alright. Heck yeah, we got some iron ore. You guys, such a shame, such a shame. Shut a shame is what I just said. Ooh, cold ass rain, it's my favorite. It's my favorite to endure. See, it's cool now, so I, I can switch over to my healing spell and one-handed axe, or to my two-handed axe. with the left and the right favorites. Of course, I know if you do keyboard and mouse, you get all sorts of hotkeys, but... If I play keyboard and mouse, my arms will destroy the What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm gonna kill you with this axe. Yeah, I like that. That's good. We're gonna focus on two-handed, but we might we might do a little 
one-handed boosts here and there. Keep that going. I'm definitely going to specialize in axes. My understanding is that this game is designed such a way that you really should be using different weapon types on different enemy types, though it doesn't communicate that clearly to the player. There's a little bit of hint in the... Dude, I just got here. You already had enough of me. That's rude. What did I do? All I did was walk in. I guess I just kill rude people. You know, it's... It's my duty. It's my task. It's my goal in life. Boy knows how locks work, that's for sure. That's for sure, for sure. Ew. Ew. Snake fish, huh? Brace yourself. open here. Dizzy in there. Again, I am very, normally very pro spider. In this case, I think I'm going to listen to the guy telling me to kill it. sides here. Oh, I missed. It's coming loose. I can feel Oops. Alright. You okay? You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Uh.
I rolled my eyes so hard that I physically spun around. You know, it's probably not safe ahead. It's really probably not. I mean, see? Dude, let me help you. Hey, I'm here to help you. here to help you. Dude! <laughs> Flabbergasted at your poor decision making. My fingers are trembling, the golden claw is finally in my hands, and with it the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool Luke and Valerius had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Black Ball's barrow. And I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that's when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. Okay. What's all this fuss about this Golden Claw? Bear fairy owl, huh? Or dragonfly. I prefer fairy. Haha, -ha, trap avoided. I normally would be very against disturbing the dead, but the dead are disturbing me right now, so I don't really know how to feel about it, honestly, as a Nord traditionalist. No, just go back to sleep. Go to sleep. never has to go down like this. Just be friendly. If, you know, if people and undead would just be friendly, they wouldn't have to die by my axe, you know? It just... It's so obvious. Just be... less... murdery. And you won't get murked. Be less murdery. Be less murdery. Too late, you had your chance, you know. I know you probably don't know what I'm saying. I speak a totally different language or whatever, but it's just common courtesy, you know? I'm a guest in your place. Should be rolling out the spare bed, jeez. Money. Money. 
money, money. back at you. You know, I mean, I can see how if I come running at them with an axe like that, they, they're they just going to assume I'm a bad actor. But at this point, I've, I've given them enough chances. You know, they just uh, keep pushing my buttons. Hey. Can we not do this? No! Battle of the axes, huh? No! How are you so bad at this? You have literally had ages to be less bad at that. I don't even want your axe. Something must be wrong with it. You can't even kill me with that thing. Come on. I'm new to this. I only just been farming and mining a little bit of fish. Digging graves. I'm definitely not scared of dead bodies because uh, I've seen enough of them. That's true of my in game character. I have never seen a corpse in person and I don't ever want to. Gotcha! Well, maybe not. Now I got ya. You brought a bow to an axe fight. At least your friends brought axes to the axe fight. They weren't very good with them, of course, but you know. Ooh, our boy's getting cocky. Don't get cocky, kid. Watch this. I didn't memorize the symbols. It's just, it's two. Do two presses of each ring and you'll get it. It's not like that for all of them, but it is that for this one. I wish they would have randomized it at the beginning of the playthrough, because then it would matter a little bit, but the keys having a puzzle on them with the solution on them is just dumb. Everybody knows that. I'm, I'm preaching to the cry, the, the criers. <laughs> preaching to the choirs. I, I, ain't, uh, I ain't saying nothing brave when I say that the, the keys are stupid. Just get as many hits in as we can before he's up and spinning. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, no. Ooh!
I gotta admit, you, you were pretty tough. You almost got me. Came close to getting me. That's enchanted. I can I can use that. Wonder if there's any ore around here. Some in the cave back there. I don't think so. I don't think there's any in here. No. Maybe over there. was a grand adventure indeed. I actually have some wares to sell again and uh, seems I've recovered a valuable artifact of some kind. Ah, I knew there would be ore in this area. Karanda good for steel and locks. Seems like there should be more ore here. Probably just not finding it. Just loaded and lit one of my briar pipes. The taste is better, but the uh, impact is not as strong. Oh, thank goodness. I've been wandering alone for so long, I thought I'd never see another soul again. You're all right, you're all right. What happened? I was kidnapped by these bandits weeks ago. They locked me up in the That's towers horrible. near Mistwatch. I managed to pick the lock and slip out while the guards slept. But now, 
I'm completely lost. Can you help me, please? Come with me oh. to Riverwood. It's right here. But I should be fine now that you've shown me the you way. Sure. But those bandits have to be stopped. You were locked You're in a cage for weeks, here. from what it sounds Let like. Let me show you. Are you sure you don't want? If some you help. can stop them, you'll be a true hero. Maybe she's scared of me. She's like, uh, seriously, I'm not going with another stranger somewhere. I love hiking in real life, too. Though I cannot run like this. <laughs> oh, who can? Jeez. Shrooms. Mushrooms. So you saw a dragon? Did Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. We just start mixing a bunch of stuff together. That's how you discover new ingredient effects without leveling up your without putting perks into your uh, alchemy skill We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Two level ups, health. All right, that's good. Let's get our uh, two-handed going. Or really get that damage output going high. Are you feeling sick? Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Brown rot. Must have been from uh, from all that cold weather. Till next time. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village? Yeah. Dude. Read the friggin' room. The sooner you find... You found oh. it! Oh. <laughs> that wasn't soon enough for you? It's right here. Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. 
It's enormous. Look at that thing smaller than I remember. It's huge. Thank you so much for taking care of those steed. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Well, I picked up some stuff in the barrow. Apparently not much. doing business with you even though you sound like you would enslave somebody at the drop of a hat oh no that's uh that's that other guy Bellathor and uh and Riverwood speaking of which or Whiterun speaking of which we gotta go back to Whiterun probably shouldn't have taken that detour through uh Bleak Falls Barrel. Probably should have just went and told, told everybody about the dragon. But you know, what's an adventure if you if you plan every moment, right? Stay there. Whee! Ouch, my ankle. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Howdy. Why is this road so windy? They could have made this a more direct path. Uh, there's probably a reason for it. Maybe wagons handle it better. It's not like we can't just hike down the side, though. Money. that, huh? I'm getting too old for this. No, not really. Got the adventurer's itch. You know that. I know that. We all know that. <laughs> that lady's like, why are you talking to yourself? Oh yeah. I'm not used to having a horse so early on. Close with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. My my favorite horse in the game is Shadowmere because he doesn't breathe. So he doesn't make noises the whole time you're running around. The other horses can get annoying. Spirit of nature, bless me and cure me of this disease. Amen. It's 
called role playing. I do it. Running and a running and a running and a running and a boop. I'm here now, beep boop. I'm here now. I'm gonna wanna talk and ring around the new year, yeah. My lord, please. You have to listen. What would you have Whoa, to Whoa, lady. Of this interruption. Jarl Balgruff is not receiving please. visitors. I like your drow armor. Rash action. I just well, think we that need explains why the guards let you in. Come on, just then. The Jarl will want to speak to you Who's personally. This So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yeah, I was like expected bandits or something. By the oh, spear, the dragon was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains, the Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. I should probably take my uh, hat off in the presence of... Uh... Assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack Self -appointed him. Self-appointed royalty. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my home. I'll say that David Axfield has more respect for Here authority I than I myself do. To so, Riverwood uh... at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my that. duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service. And I won't forget it. Cool. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. Cool, I don't use light armor. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, axes? Because it's pretty much down. just axes. My court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors. Of well, dragons. I don't think it's rumors anymore, bruh. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. Ugh, children. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostility. No, I haven't. What? Project? You think you could help me? I really don't think so. Okay, fine. The Jarl can be found in the grave. Okay, all right. Probably oh sitting on I his think Jarl's found throne. Someone who can help Not over you here in a wizard's laboratory. Project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Jarl thinks you can be of use to me. Yeah, I oh, just yes, told you that. Referring to my He's research pompous into the prick. Dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch. I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be... Cool, used. sounds fun. Uh, yeah. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters. Betters? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Do you mean this friggin' ah, thing? The dragon stone of Bleak Falls. Yeah. Stone. You already found yeah, it. No, I was just kind of hanging out. From a different cloth than the you called that place dangerous. It wasn't very dangerous. It was actually pretty easy to get through. Uh... That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind. Sadly, undervalued in Skyrim. Farangar. I do not like that man. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. 
The sword coming from the south. Did you forget? Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. I wonder if the it lips are still animated under the masks or if they're just like not there. there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you I did just for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I, would very I much don't like to use light armor. armor. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing here. Let's disenchant some of this stuff that we found that's enchanted. Nice. Make some more potions. Hey, rude man. I envy you the chance. Hmm. I had you figured for me. I doubt age. you envy anything. I think you'll that appreciate this. Pretty stuck up. Ooh, I'm barefoot. That was an accident. <laughs> oh well. Here's this and that. I don't need either of those. Uh, go ahead and take those. All right, I got some money. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the mages. Call it. Getting ready to fight a dragon. I haven't fought one before, I just saw one. I'll probably need it. Something for a distance. I guess I put down that bow. That was a piddly bow anyway. The Jarl gave me Winter light armor. Imperial armor. I don't want to be associated with the Imperials. Come on now. <laughs> They pulled swords on me the first time they saw me. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh, my feet are hot. Ooh. I'll meet you down there, girl. Good luck. I'm sure she appreciates I being hope called you get girl. There in mercenary work. It might suit you. What? Oh, I saw you yelling at your wife or something about something stupid. My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. <clears throat> I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Uh, I tried I've doing some adventuring lately. Nearby, I can try and find it. But I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying oh, yeah, this, fools brawl, huh? you find it out in your travels. Cool, yeah, for sure. If you find that sword, please bring it to me. That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor bound to fight, even if we fail. Mm. Nice.
For every three firewood you have, and every one steel, you can make uh, single camping supplies. Also part of the base um, anniversary edition. It's in miscellaneous camping supplies. These let you set up a fire and a place to sleep anywhere outside. Has to be outside. Uh, it can save you when it's cold. Um, you need it for mountain traversing. If you're if you're doing stuff in the mountains a lot, if you're up near Azura's Shrine and um, uh, that just the mountains mountainous area near Dawnstar and White Run, then uh, you're gonna need you're gonna need them. I want to make arrows. What do I need to make arrows? Firewood. Oh, I used all my firewood. I need to buy a bow anyway. Okay, yeah, I'll buy that. Eventually. What do you need? Take a good look around. I need I'm a sure bow. you'll find what you're looking for. Take a look. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Yeah, we'll use that one. Thank you very much for your business. Hello, friend. In the market for some hunting Look, supplies? Yeah, I'm hunting dragons. <laughs> Let's get a little bit more firewood. I mean, I know we're in a hurry, but I can't go fight a dragon unprepared, you know what I mean? I did not ask your opinion. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. We'll pay good money for I do like money. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. A red guard like us. She's likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Run. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Cool. We will find her eventually. Come on, horsey. All right. Stay right there. I don't want you to die. signs of any dragon right now but it sure looks like he's been here i know it looks bad but we've got to figure out what happened and if that dragon is still cool come on around it. somewhere spread out and look for survivors we need to know what no get back it's still here somewhere Crocky and tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it Let's save us. Here he comes again. Where? Oh. Sally, who's up? 
Gotcha. What do you think I'm doing? You don't stand a chance. I mean, it's a dragon. I think it stands a chance. Okay. All right. There's a dragon. Seems to be dead. What's it doing? What's it doing? Hey, guys. Guys. Hey, everybody. What's it doing? Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, Talos. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Is that supposed to feel so good? Oh. Those are heavy, huh? Did y'all see that? Because that was weird. Believe it. You're Dragonborn. Uh in the very oldest tales, back from when no, I know what it is, is I just hybrid, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Yeah, I There's mean, only it, one it way felt to find really out. Good. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. All right. Okay. Let's try it. What are you talking about? Oh shoot! To tell stories about the dragon like the graybeards on their mountain. Those born with the dragon blood in them, like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerleth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yerleth. Tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. I don't know. We we have a lot Here's of information dragon, about Dragonborn and that's something in this I country. Definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical Dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecard. You ain't an all. Yeah. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. Then why are you having such trouble believing it? I mean, eh, I had a little bit of trouble myself until I shouted, but you know, the evidence is pretty clear. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Yeah. Must be. Irileth. Really are dragon. Look. Then. What manner of power it's shouting. It? Okay. All right. You guys are pushing my buttons. We all know what happens when my buttons get pushed. People die. Let's go get my horse. Gotta make sure horse is far enough away so that it doesn't try to help to battle because uh, it ain't got no armor yet. What should we call this horse? Wish we could name them. David Axewielder's horse. What is your name? Cinnamon. What's up, Cinnamon? Let's go, Cinnamon. Yeehaw! haw 
I am from Texas, by the way. Whoa. Set my horse all wobbly. It's okay, Cinnamon. Calm down. It's okay. Thane's parking. I know I'm not a Thane yet, guys, but uh, I just killed a dragon, so. Thane's parking. Well, I saw it my old adventure, and I, I uh, turned out to be the prophesied dragonborn. Fresh from the wild. And uh, it's a lot to process, you know. I, I kind of don't know how I'm feeling about that. Feeling a little numb almost. Just got to get up these steps. And, yeah, maybe I can take a rest, go back to the farm for a few days, relax the ties, enjoy my newfound, you know, newfound money. Can't believe I fought a dragon barefoot. Jeez. How do you accidentally sell your shoes? Good. You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. You heard... So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Yeah, we murked it, too. There's no question about that. It was a mighty deed. You've earned a place of honor among the heroes of White Cool. Man. But there must be more to it than that. Did something strange happen when the dragon died? Dragonborn. What do you know I about the Dragonborn? I am a native-born Nord. All right. Not just the men. The Greybeards seem to think the same thing. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a do or shout. The Greybeards are masters of the way of the voice. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards... Oh, man. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards. Summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Akor. Mm. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs nonsense? of nonsense. What dragonborn? Nord nonsense? Why you puffed up ignorant? These are our sacred Boosh! I need to ask you to stop. That shouting is making people nervous. All right. Good. I meant no Glad we straightened that out. Trying to show this dude. What do these graybeards want with him? That he's talking out of his That's behind. The business, not ours. What? You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Yarl. Oh, I like I accents. You thane of White Run. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house car, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Wow, badge of I'll office, also huh? notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, no. <laughs> that's we are uh, honored very to revealing what you just said. Of our city, Dragonborn. I envy you. To climb the seven thousand, seven thousand steps, steps. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? No. High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of is the Is it city. cold? I wonder if the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Oh. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. Don't tell me Back what to, to do. Business for them. <laughs> and that's a game crash, everybody. That's going to be a to be continued anyway. Um, we'll pick up right where we left off on the next Let's Play. Thanks for watching.
see the adventures of David Axe Wielder. Uh, game crashes, by the way, happen about as often on Linux as they did on Windows for Skyrim. Uh, it's less common on some games and more common on others, depending on which platform. But it's it's pretty much random. Which, if a game's not going to work at all on Linux, it's not going to work at all. The, some I found a few that are just not working even with Proton yet. But um, Next time, uh, I think I'll do a different game before I continue with this. Uh, probably either the Outer Worlds or um, maybe Fallout 4. Uh, I will show if I do Outer Worlds I'll show you how I installed it and how I got it up and running I use Proton for that even though it's not a, I didn't get it on Steam I got it on GOG so uh, there's a little bit of a script involved in that it's very very simple uh, but anyway thanks everybody see you next time hope you enjoyed it peace